Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting an issue saying that another computer is using the printer on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time, and you want to type in Services. Best match should come back with services right above desktop app. Just left click on that one time. Now we want to go down until we get to the print spooler. Right here. Double click on it. If service status says running, you want to stop the service right here. And then you want to left click on start to start it back up. And you also want to make sure startup type is set to automatic. So now that we have done that, you want to go ahead and open up the start menu again. So we're going to close out all these windows. We're going to head over to start menu, left click on it, we'll type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt above desktop app, right click on it. And then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in net, so NET, space, stop, space, spooler. So again, net, stop, spooler. Then you want to hit enter on your keyboard one time. Now that you've done that, you want to type in NET, space, start, space, spooler. Okay, I'm sure it's, it started successfully. Some people might think this is a little bit redundant, but I just wanted to give you guys a couple of different ways on how to hopefully clear that. would recommend restarting your computer as well. Now, if you're still having problems, I would suggest going and opening up your start menu. Again, type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager above control panel. Left click on that. And I'm going to move this window over here. You want to expand the printer section. So if you had any printers in here, you just want to left click and expand it and then right click on the printer itself and just left click on update driver. You can also go on the internet as well and go look up your driver software for your printer. So Canon, Epson, Brother, they all have websites that you can easily find driver software utilities for. And pretty much it will just automatically download and install on your computer. It will search for the printer assuming that usually you're either going to have a wired or wireless connection and that seems to have a lot of success as well but that's a little bit more printer specific so I really don't want to confuse anybody by getting too far into that but you basically would just head over to Google at that point search up your printer and make sure you are able to locate your actual printer manufacturer's website and they should have drivers on there for your printer so I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial Goodbye.